Good afternoon. My name is Sebastiana. What does it mean for one's life to be a living experiment? Well, it begins with the fact that as a donor-conceived person, you are bombarded with instances which stretch the boundaries of acceptability in regards to human rights. In my personal experience, I grew up in an Italian-American family. I spent half of my life in the US and the other half in Italy, Mideast, and Marshall Islands. I am an only child with no siblings of any kind, a rare reality in the donor-conceived community. I found out I was donor conceived almost 20 years ago at 23 years old. The social experiment started to reveal itself once I was able to unveil the truth. Through consumer DNA testing, I cracked a seemingly impossible endogamous puzzle by triangulating distant relatives using med school yearbooks. I found him who I now call BioDad, and we have a great relationship full of amazing similarities. I discovered I have Jewish heritage from him, and tomorrow I am going to visit my bio grandmother's shtetl as she escaped prior to the Holocaust. Importantly, my BioDad and I discovered that we were lied to by the fertility doctor. After both of us pre presenting him with independent requests, the doctor deliberately kept us in the dark regarding the amount of offspring and siblings, and also vital medical information. I was created as a solution for other people's needs. I feel like I am part of a propaganda program, similar to breeding apple varieties. Without acknowledgement of our rights as humans, we donor conceived are just commodities in a twisted experiment. Thank you. My name is Courtney and I was conceived in Melbourne in 1976. My parents wanted a baby and doctors had a method of providing them with one. Nobody needed to know about the method of my conception, least of all me. My mother's doctor received great accolades for being a pioneer in the field. An industry sprang up from what appeared to simply be the altruistic practice of solving a problem and fulfilling a desire. But nobody considered the implications of having a child grow up in a culture of shame and secrecy, that I might perceive a sense that things weren't quite right, that I would feel a sense of disconnection a need to seek approval and acceptance. Nobody thought to prepare my family for the difficulties we would face and the profound effect it would have. I found out I was donor conceived when I was 21 years old by reading it in my medical file. It was less shocking than you may imagine. It made sense, but I wish my parents had had the courage to tell me themselves. I wish that my parents and the doctors who facilitated this had considered what this would really mean, being deprived of half of my medical history, half of my family history, and of the choice to know my biological parent. My sense of identity was shattered, and it took 20 years before I could begin the process of piecing it together accurately. Six days before I turned 40, I found my biological father. Once again, it made sense, and once again, it involved complexity and loss. What worries me, us, deeply, enough to fly across the world, is that this is still happening, creating children with the express intention to sever a fundamental biological connection purely for the profit and the needs of others. Thank you.